Hey guys, welcome back to Landon's Amazing Animals. In today's video, I'm going to be feeding all my pets. I'm going to be telling you about a bunch of updates that are happening around the house. So my 10 gallon Japanese blue endler tank, I added some Patriot guppies just to see what would happen. So far, everybody's looking good. Um, in my 20 gallon long, what used to be reef tank, it is now a frag tank. And I did add some new corals to that. In my 20 gallon long community freshwater tank, my angelfish are doing really good. They're growing out, which is great, and I'm hopefully getting a pair soon. So yeah, everybody upstairs is looking pretty good. Now I'm gonna start feeding them, and I'll let you know what I feed them to. So I feed all my freshwater fish, Tretramin Tropical Fish Flakes. It's pretty cheap, um, and it comes with a lot in the container, and the fish seem to be doing pretty good on it. It brightens their colors, and it supports a healthy diet. I feed my clownfish Omnivore Crumble, which is produced from my local fish store. If you do live around here, I do recommend trying it. I feed my turtle tiny Hakari's turtle food. For the price, it's pretty good quality and he does seem to enjoy it. As for Coco and Napo, they enjoy a fresh diet, which includes Timothy hay, some pellets, and then leafy greens. Now this is the first time showing the basement on camera, and down here we have a lot of big surprises happening. Recently, we built a 125 gallon saltwater reef tank, which is now home to some new friends. In the basement, we also built a 1,000 gallon pond, which is holding the fish over the winter so they can continue to grow, eat, and fatten up for the summer. Now also down here, we have some big plans we are going to be making a coral farm so we can start fragging corals and selling them online by September. We are also going to be making a fish wall where I will be breeding freshwater fish and many different projects will be coming up shortly. In the garage, we also have two ponds, one that we made and one that we bought from Tractor Supply, which holds some of our smaller koi that are inside also growing out over the winter. Above the one pond, we have a 40 gallon breeder, which has some cichlids, which will be moving into a 75 gallon tank coming up shortly. 
In this tank, we also have some super red plecos, which once they get grown out, they'll be going down into the fish room in the basement and hopefully breeding. On the other side of the garage, we have Toothless, our axolotl, who is doing really good. Once it gets closer to summer, we will be moving him down into the basement where it's nice and cool so he doesn't get too warm. Next to him, we have some swordtails and shrimp, which are just sitting down here until the fish room is finished and then they'll be moving there. Outside, we have our eight chickens and one turkey. They're all doing great right now. If you want to see a video about them, let me know in the comments and I'll make sure for that to happen. That's all for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe and comment down in the comment section what videos you would like to see next. Bye.